Hi there, today we're looking at practical workshop on new value calculations specifically for a given wall. So you can do this for any materials, you've just got to follow the process. The process being um, using the new value formula. So new value is basically the transmittance of heat, allowing for how much heat goes through a material given the depth of the material, the resistance of the material, etc. Hence the reason that we need to know the resistance of each material. So down at the bottom here, I have the resistance of outside, inside and air gap. So I've been given the surface resistances and the air gap resistances for um, my materials. However, um, I've not been given the, the resistances for the bricks, the blocks or the plaster because they are a given depth. So I need to work them out. So. There's my resistances, no problem, done, written those down, lovely. What about the um, the actual materials, uh, brickwork, blockwork? Well, if I've got the conductivity of them, I can work out the resistance, because conductivity is effectively the transference of heat. Um, however, it's not given a depth, it's what's per metre Kelvin or metre degree Celsius, depending, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so. Given the conductivity, I can work out the resistance by inversing it and then timesing it by its depth. So that is effectively what I've done here. I've used that formula. I've worked out the resistance for each material just using that simple formula. Easy. Okay, so um, then I move on and I now I've got all the resistances of all the materials. I can add them all together and I can put them into my lovely U-value formula here. Um, so I have my U value, 1.49 watts per meter squared. I've put degrees Celsius um, because that's what I'm measuring in on this wall, okay? Um, and I've also got an app here, which is the thermal transmittance. We're working out the U value. There's an app which can help you um, work it out as long as you've got the right information in there. Lots of manufacturers, this is Kingspan, um, Loads of manufacturers have their own e-value calculation, so you can work out um, using their materials what you what your wall would be or your materials would be. Uh, just a little note on that: uh, the one degree K or degree Celsius, uh, because we're talking about transmittance of heat. Um, it doesn't matter which value you use in there. So I've got up here meter squared K over what, and then down here I've got meter, uh, meter squared degree Celsius. As long as you're using the same values, I'd always say just make sure you start with the same thing. Um, as long as you, if you're using degree Celsius as your temperature or you're using Kelvin as your temperature, so just make sure that's the, that's the same. But the actual value, so the U value, um, will not matter if you've got degree Celsius or degrees Kelvin, as long as whichever heat value you're using is the same you'll be fine with that okay um, and then very quickly just looking at this concept we have uh, the regulations now very important always to check the regs because they do change this um, part l1b proof document um, is 2018 um, l1a is 2016 l1b is for existing dwellings and L1A is for new dwellings. So if you have a look, the wall is different. 0.28 is your minimum for that. And 0.3 is your minimum for that one. So just be very aware that I've got, oops, sorry, he, <laughs> I've got calculated U values of elements here. Some of them meet the regs and some of them don't. Just be aware of that. Okay, so um, thanks for your time. Take care, bye now.